All right, guys, welcome back to another Kids Cook at Home cooking class. I am Amy, a registered dietitian. I love May, it is my birthday month, but I love that it also celebrates Mother's Day. So for this Kids Cook at Home class, I want you to find that lady in your life that you just love and you wanna cook alongside to help celebrate Mother's Day with. And we are going to make a banana split on a stick say that 10 times fast. And then we're also going to be making a sunrise smoothie. So we're gonna take advantage of some great produce. So we're gonna use our friend, the pineapple today. And then of course, we're gonna add in some strawberries, some bananas, just a little bit of chocolate here or there. So as always, let's go ahead and wash our hands. We'll go ahead and also wash our produce as well. So we have strawberries, a banana, and a pineapple. Even though we're not gonna eat the peel, it's always good to practice good food safety and wash those. So once we're all washed up, we'll go ahead and get started and I'll show you how to chop a pineapple. Okay, first step is to cut the pineapple. So there's a few different ways you can cut a pineapple. Um, I am going to go ahead and just show you guys one of my ways that I've always done it. Um, you will be using a sharp knife that is quite large. So of course, if you're much younger, please do not be handling the knife. Always be sure that you have an adult with you. Um, and if you're too young, just be sure that that adult is doing all the cutting. And trust me, there's other fun parts of this recipe that you will be able to do all by yourself. So first things first, I always like to make a flat surface. So I'm going to go ahead, just take my knife and cut the bottom of the pineapple off. Okay. I'm just gonna use this plate to kind of hold my extras that I'm gonna be discarding. Next, I'm going to go ahead and cut off the crown. So this here is called the crown of a pineapple. That always looks so pretty. <laughs> All right, now that we have a flat surface, we're gonna just set it up straight. And now we're gonna go through and we're just gonna start to cut off that skin. Um, try to get as close as you can so that we're not cutting off the fruit itself that we're gonna eat. So just go through and make your cuts all the way around. So I'm gonna go ahead, just clean up my scraps, and then I'll go ahead and show you guys how to cut the rest of it. All right, now we, at the end of the day, we want our pineapple to be in chunks. So what we're going to do is there's a core in the center, just like an apple core. There's a hard core down the center of a pineapple. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make some cuts around it. So just to show you guys, I would make a cut here, and then we'll just kind of keep going around, just so that we're not cutting into the core, but we're cutting right around it to keep as much fresh pineapple as we can. It'll come off in chunks like that, and then we'll go ahead and chop that up into smaller pieces. So now I just like to cut it into some thinner strips, uh, maybe about an inch thick, and then we'll go ahead and chop those into cubes, going cutting the other way. All right, so we're not gonna use all of this pineapple for this first recipe. So what I'm gonna have you do is just take out, I don't know, about four or five chunks of pineapple, and then we're gonna go ahead and put the rest of the pineapple into a bowl, because we're gonna need some for our smoothie recipe that we're gonna make next. All right, the next step is to get our strawberries and our banana chopped up and ready for our banana split on a stick. So. Um, again, our strawberries are washed. What I'm gonna do is just carefully take a knife and chop off the top. We're gonna leave them as a whole strawberry. We're not going to cut them into smaller pieces. All 
right, so we've got that. And then next, we're gonna do our banana. I find it easier sometimes to just chop the banana with the skin on. You can do it with the skin off either way. But I'm just gonna cut off the end, and then we just need three chunks, or four chunks, sorry. We're gonna make four of our banana split on a stick. So we'll set that off to the side. So now um, we are going to put our fruit on a stick. So I do have some of these wooden craft sticks or pop spill sticks that we're going to use. You can put them in whatever order you'd like. I'm just gonna go ahead and start with my pineapple. So I'll just kind of pierce it through carefully. Our goal is to fit our banana, our strawberry, and our banana all on the same stick. just like that. So you can go ahead and set them off on a plate. Like I said, I'm just gonna do the same thing with my other three, and then we'll go ahead and melt some chocolate so that our banana split on a stick has some melted chocolate. Um, and you can also add nuts if you like, otherwise just a little bit of melted chocolate goes a long way. Now we are going to just clean up a little bit. I'm going to grab a bowl with some chocolate chips. I'm gonna go ahead and get that melted, and then we'll finish these off. The next step is to take our fruit on our stick and we are going to just drizzle it with some melted chocolate. So I've taken some dark chocolate chips and I melted them in a microwave safe dish for about 30 to 45 seconds, stirring every 15 seconds just to be sure that the chocolate is melted all the way through. But as always, be careful because your dish is going to get a little warm. So I'm going to just take a fork and I'm just going to drizzle some chocolate right over these fruit popsicles. And that's it for our banana split on a stick. Stick around, we are going to make our sunrise smoothie next. For this next recipe, we are making our sunrise smoothies. So we have our fresh dull pineapple, some vanilla Greek yogurt, fresh strawberries, and two bananas. I've already washed my hands and I've already washed this produce because we used a lot of it within our first recipe today. Um, but of course, always remember to wash your hands frequently while cooking. So for this smoothie, we're gonna be using our food processor or a blender. We're gonna add in about one cup of fresh pineapple. Like one more piece, I love pineapple. All right, then we are going to add in two bananas. So I'm just going to chop them carefully with a knife. Then we're gonna add about one cup of strawberries. So I just need to cut the tops off of these. So we'll start with that. All right, and then our Greek yogurt. So I am also just gonna grab a little bit of water just to help smooth it out. And then we're gonna go ahead, get it blended, and you'll have a smoothie ready in no time. All right, so it looks nice and smooth. So I'm going to just pour this into a liquid measuring cup, just so again, I don't make a huge mess. ready to serve. I still spill. <laughs> That's okay. All right. 
And there you have it, you have your sunrise smoothies. And that is a wrap for today. We have our sunrise smoothies, our banana split on a stick. We hope you guys enjoyed today's recipes as much as we did. If you're looking for upcoming classes for Kids Cook at Home, you can head to celebratemore.com slash kidscookathome. And of course, don't forget to share your photos with us on social media. So go ahead and tag us on Facebook or Instagram and use hashtag kidscookathome. And we'll see you guys next time.